so I'm driving on this local road next to the football field and I'm gonna enter a road which has a speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour and as you can see in the head, head of display now uh, I have 40 kilometers an hour which is the current speed limit the sign for that was just on the left side when I exited here and now this road that I'm gonna enter here I'm gonna wait for a car on the right side here uh, has 80 kilometers per hour so what happens well obviously I'm going faster than 40 because that's the speed limit and it blinks and it tells me I, I need to slow down so the car obviously does not know the current speed limit because it's only dependent on the cameras to to catch what speed limits are on the roads so I'm entering the intersection here and this is the main road um, to another town and obviously it also has 80 kilometers per hour and I still keep going or the car keeps knowing only 40 kilometers from the road behind and here it's obviously I can go in 80s and and in, in 80 kilometers per hour is perfectly fine but the car doesn't know that so this is one reason actually the good reason for including road data as well as the cameras to determine what speed limits uh, are so I'm gonna exit the road here turn to the left into another road and this road on the side here okay I need to wait it has a speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour right here after I turn you can see the sign there so let, let's see if that changes in the head-up display which it did that's fine and here I enter an 80 kilometer zone which is like this but still, the sign recognition does not recognize that particular sign as uh, the 50 limit is lifted and replaced by the 80 limit, which is how it works. So still the car knows or tells me it's the wrong uh, speed here. It still thinks it's oh, a 50 km per hour speed limit when it's actually 80. And that's really frustrating because when I do go faster than 50 here, everything is blinking and beeping and everything. So somebody needs to do something here. Either put up more signs, which is a long uh, run, or implement a database um, recognition of speed limits, which here in Norway, you have an official uh, road database, which is available through the APIs of the authorities and can be downloaded and up, uh, up uploaded every time every day uh, several times a day by Google or anyone so that should be no no stress so on the front here and end, end of this uh, road here I have 60 kilometers per hour uh, which is fine and I think it all will work after that but until now it has been really really buggy and not the way it's supposed to be so that's not good.